Hey guys, it's MJ, and in this video, we're talking about Amazon. Now, in November 2017, Amazon started hiring a whole bunch of insurance professionals, otherwise known as actuaries. Now, Amazon started off selling books on the internet, and now they're employing the most intelligent people in the world. Why are they doing that? Turns out that they're teaming up with Berkshire Hathaway, which is a Warren Buffett company, and JP Morgan, which is a massive American bank, to start a healthcare company. Now, healthcare is one of the pillars of actuarial science, so it makes sense that Amazon needs some actuaries. But let's look at why they're doing this. Amazon believes that they've identified a gap in the market. They believe that the big, large insurance companies are like these massive snails that are not ready to embrace innovation and new technology and that this has given Amazon an opportunity. Now they've teamed up with Warren Buffett because Berkshire Hathaway owns a company called Genre, and Genre is a reinsurance company, which means it's an insurance company for insurance companies. Now, that gives them access to a whole bunch of data, and Amazon having a whole bunch of data mining and AI is gonna be able to take that data and find some really awesome opportunities. They're also probably teaming up with JP Morgan because an insurance company needs a lot, a lot of capital. And even though Amazon is a giant company on its own, it's probably gonna need extra financing in order to enter this market. So what can we expect? I think what we can expect is just a much better user experience. For those of you who know, trying to get healthcare or any form of insurance is an absolute nightmare. And that is because regulation has made it so, so rigid to do anything. And Amazon might be coming up with a program that can facilitate that and it might be really cool to buy insurance, especially healthcare online on one of their websites. Now, Amazon aren't the only tech company to get involved in the space. We're seeing Apple move in as well. They've teamed up with actually a local company here in South Africa called Discovery, or you guys might know it in London under the term Vitality. And what they're doing is they're giving Vitality members free Apple Watches. And the whole idea behind it is you put on this little Apple Watch and we're gonna take all your health data and we're gonna start using it. Now, Apple's happy because they're getting this data, which is invaluable, and Vitality's happy is because in order to get the free watch, you have to do a whole bunch of exercise, which means you have to be healthier, and a healthier person is probably gonna make less claims. So they're actually making money by giving people free technology. And that's, that's one of the wonderful things about actuarial science, is that you find these weird paradoxes that by giving people free tech, you actually make money by doing so. So, I'm really excited to see where the market goes. I think you guys should be excited as well as we're seeing tech companies, which are great employers, now turning to and looking to actuaries for their expertise in this, this space. But that's why I cannot stress it enough that if you guys are studying actuarial science, you need to start embracing programming and other forms of technology because that is the ultimate com combination. Someone who understands the regulation and financial institutions, as well as all the programming and you know, computer tech, they're gonna be in a perfect place to create artificial intelligence that is gonna handle all this form of regulation and do all of these boring jobs that yes, they are gonna probably wipe out the actuarial uh, profession, but what they are gonna do is gonna free up the profession to do other cool things and tackle other areas of life. So yes, it is gonna destroy or disturb a whole bunch of jobs, but it's also gonna create a whole bunch of new ones. And it is an exciting space to be playing in, and that's why I do wanna encourage everyone who is either studying programming to start also looking at actuarial science, and if you're studying actuarial science, to also look into programming. Anyway, I'll keep you guys updated with any more news, but thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks guys, cheers.